early in the morning, late at night. It don't even matter what time it is. But I bought some stuff from Sephora, like shower stuff, and I'm gonna show you guys what I got because I'm so excited. First of all, let me open this and smell it because I didn't even smell it or anything. I just like bought it because I've seen so many people um like using this product. That smells very um vanilla-y. It's very very like it's sweet. So, anyways, I'm gonna try this out in the shower. The Solda Hanero shower cream gel and then i finally also got my hands on this which i have this in the original one and it smells so good Ooh. oh my god that smells so freaking good okay yeah i'm gonna use this once i get out of the shower that smells amazing and the fenty body butters literally they're so thick like i love it I also got this as well, the um, body cream in, from Sol de Janeiro. I'm excited to see how this smells as well. Oh, this also smells really good. I don't know if this is thick though. But I've seen people say that you don't need to use a lot of this, like a little. It goes a long way. This is almost done, but I've been using my hyaluronic system. I actually love this just because of like the consistency of it. This Fenty Skin <laughs> Hydro Visor gives my skin like a crazy glow. Like I love to use this, especially on days when I'm not wearing makeup. Cause it gives me like an all day long lasting glow and it has SPF 30 in it. Now let's moisturize with this. I'm so excited. Nah, this smells too good. Like, wow. I mean, it looks like there's some like sparkles in it a little bit. because I, I got a silk press so my hair is like straightened. I literally have so many layers. TikTok. I've been posting, I've been creating like a lot more like short form content because I can repurpose it so easily. Like I can post it on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube technically for shorts. And I also post my shorts on Pinterest. I have like a thousand followers on Pinterest. I don't really do anything. I just like post my short form videos. I just 
finished filming my little tiktok you guys i changed my hair i was like playing with my hair for literally an hour because i'm like i hate how it looks and then i got onto like this style which i feel like is so cute i feel like it gives off like 90s vibe so now i'm about to edit it i want to post it today and editing tiktoks is like honestly so easy especially compared to like youtube videos it's so fast it's so easy that's actually one of the reasons why I've started to become kind of lazy with editing YouTube videos is because whenever I edit a TikTok, it takes like one hour, two hours, three hours, depending on like the TikTok. I edit on iMovie. I know a lot of people edit their TikToks and stuff on CapCut, but I like to edit it on my computer just because I feel like it's just easier for me. So I have my laptop here and I have my phone here with all the videos that I filmed. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to airdrop. I don't airdrop like everything at the same time because if the video is like long, it doesn't, at least for me, it doesn't let me. So I usually do like a couple at a time. Since I edit an iMovie, to get the format of like a vertical video, I go into, um, when you click on iMovie, go into file and then you app preview. It basically gives you the perfect like vertical dimensions that you need for TikToks or Reels. Okay, now that the airdrop went through, we're gonna bring the videos into iMovie. And for some reason, whenever I bring like videos into iMovie, I have to like flip it around. I don't know. It doesn't go in order basically. It goes from last to first instead of first to last video. So before we airdrop everything, we're gonna go into TikTok. Usually I like to go into my sounds and find a sound that I like. Because I edit outside of TikTok, I kind of have to um, screen record the sound and then bring it into like iMovie. Okay, technically you could probably do this like first, like find your sound first, uh, but I kind of forgot about that. So I found this sound. That I like. I like my R&B sounds. So I'm gonna screen record it and then airdrop it into maybe so one sec. Okay, so I just received the TikTok sound. This sound is like 30 seconds, so we have to cut everything down to like 30 seconds, which is honestly not going to be hard. I'm going to finish this off with a voiceover since I was really getting into the flow of editing and explaining was kind of messing that up. So basically now I'm going to bring all of the other videos into iMovie. So I airdropped absolutely all the clips that I used to film. Now that I have all of the videos that I need inside iMovie, I'm going to start cutting basically. So all of the unnecessary stuff I'm going to start cutting out and I'm also going to try to cut to the beat so by example I wanted this clip of me holding this elf bottle to be one of the clips so I'm gonna cut that down to less than a second normally I like to make my clips very very short another thing that dictates the length of my clips is the audio actually because I like to sync my clips to like the audio so as you guys can see in the audio there's like dips in the audio that's usually where the beat drops so i like to make sure that i cut right before the beat drops that's how you like sync it up here's another example for you guys i'm gonna make sure to cut the clip right at the spike right there as you guys can see i slowed this clip down for you guys as well and so i want to show me putting the bronzer on so i'm gonna make sure that again every single clip hits the beat or ends at the beat so this way at the end of the editing process you'll realize that like all the clips basically match up with your sound that just makes for a more like seamless video i think it just appears more clean and almost professional so i'm going to show you guys what my final result looks like Okay, so I didn't put the full video because I didn't want to get copyrighted, but I really hope that this was helpful. Um, I know this is maybe not the most detailed or in-depth, but if you guys do have any questions, you can leave them down below or you can DM me them and I'll try to help you guys out with that. So, yeah. Hey guys, so what day is it today? March 2nd. Today is March 2nd. I'm with my sisters. My sisters came over. I'm about to do my sister's hair for her graduation pictures. Say hey, sisters. Hi. Oh, my hair looks like an egg. <laughs> I haven't done a wig and in forever, so I'm excited. Kind of. 
Quiz okay, guys, so let's get into this install. Thank you so much to Megalook for sponsoring this portion of the video. We actually ended up installing the wig the next day, hence why we look different, because it was just too late at night. But I started off by installing like regular. We're gonna go in with our glue. I'm using Bold Hold here, and I did, I think, two or three layers of this on top of the bald cap. So this is a 13 by four body wave wig, HD lace or crystal lace as they like to call it, 180% density. So I love this wig for her especially. I think this might be the longest wig my little sister has worn. So she was definitely feeling herself, okay? I haven't worn a wig or installed a wig in a minute so I was a little nervous to install this for her but I think I still have it in me. I did the same thing that I always do after gluing the lace down. I'm going in with an eyebrow razor to get all of the excess lace off. After parting out the baby hairs, I actually put some mousse onto the baby hairs. I sprayed the lace with some ebon and I tied everything with an elastic band. Um, when I took the elastic band, this is what it was looking like. And then I went in to swoop the baby hairs. I used my usual combo, which has got to be the black bottle as well as some mousse. While the baby hair is still wet with product, I usually like to go in with either a blow dryer or this mini fan that I have to really hold the baby hair down so that it can stay in place and so it doesn't lift up. Also ended up doing her makeup, so this is the final result. Guys, I did my sister's hair. This unit is from Mega Look and I did her makeup. She's going to take pictures for her graduation. Cute, turn around, show the hair. Super long and flowy. This is what the hair looks like really nice inches for graduation super cute faces b okay so yeah i came in and got a stanley cup i didn't know it was this freaking big like it's literally the size of my head like what this is crazy anyways um i'm about to head out to a coffee shop i just ate breakfast and i was watching the perfect match i actually love the perfect match it's really entertaining but i just hate how they're doing black women on the show like I just hate how they're always matching up the black women with men who it's like so obvious that they're not gonna go well with. But anyways, apart from that, the show is pretty entertaining. Obviously working from home and like always being home is just a lot. And sometimes I don't have the motivation to work. So I'm like, okay, today let's just change our environment, change our setting and go to a coffee shop. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm about to do. Also, you guys, I got a um, everything package literally today. I ordered this yesterday and it came in today. They're actually so fast with their shipping, which I love that. So, you guys remember the zip-up jacket that I got from Aritzia last vlog? I've been wearing it, like, literally, I'm not even gonna lie, like, every single day. It's just so convenient and it's so cute! Like, it looks so good and I've just been obsessed with it. So, I'm like, let me see if I can get, like, some the same uh, zip up jacket in another color because I'm like so obsessed at how good it makes me look and it's just like so sporty cute like I love it so I got it in two colors these two so I got a small oh my god I hope this is not too big I want it to be like tight okay no 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 this fits this fits I thought it was gonna be like loose for a second I got this in white as well <clears throat> This is so cute. Um, these are $88, I believe. Yes, so they are quite expensive, honestly, but because I was like so obsessed with the black one, I'm like, this is something that I could wear on like an everyday basis, and it's just like so easy. You just wear it with some leggings, and you look so cute and put together. Today is Saturday. I'm going out to brunch today with Pizza Hut. We're going to Marked basically, which is like a place that has a really good brunch. And I'm scared that we're going to be late. I did like a quick beat. Okay, I did my makeup super quickly. It's currently 2.21. And brunch ends at 3.30. And we don't have reservations. So I don't know if we're actually going to be able to eat there. But I really want to go and try and see. They have like the all-you-can-eat brunch which is like, I've been wanting to go for so long. Somehow it got like super, super late. I don't know how it got this late. I'm wearing this super cute set from Zara. I'm so obsessed with this. I curled my hair a little bit. It looks so good. I love it. Can I 
use this I'm still not over how good this smells you guys like it's insane Do you want to go to West Elm? I think it's that way. Or do you want to drive there? So, how would you rate the food? Um, it's good. It's like an eight. Yeah, you think good. it was an eight? Honestly, I didn't like your food. I just came back from brunch and going to West Elm. I didn't find anything in West Elm, unfortunately. I'm still I'm looking for nightstands currently. Like that's one of my the major things that I'm like looking into getting. Like my next purchase. I'm also looking into getting a rug. But honestly, I haven't even started looking for a rug. But anyways, I'm about to put together this little console table that I got from Am um from Wayfair. Sorry. So I'm gonna show you guys me doing that i'm really excited because i wanted this area to be like a aesthetic area where i can store some stuff as well yeah after going to west elm we actually ended up going to the mall as well i didn't vlog it because i forgot my camera in the car and i kind of regret it but went to urban outfitters i got some stuff um i got their like viral corset one sec okay so i got their um i was like i will show you guys later but it's like whatever i'll just show you guys right now so this corset from Urban Outfitters, honestly, I've seen this so many times. It's like their viral corset. I'm pretty sure I went viral on TikTok or something. But I got this. I got some size small. It's so cute. They have this in like a ton of different colors. And I was in the sales section and I saw that they had this. It's basically just like a cardigan. Um, how much was it on sale for? So original price is $89 and it was on sale for $40. And I felt like this is really cute. I got some of size extra small. I love the sleeves. I love how tight it is. I have a thing for sleeves. Like if a sleeve is like really tight and long, I'm probably gonna like the top just because I don't know. I just love that look. But yeah, this is the cardigan. I feel like it's really, really cute. It's in a cute little pink color. Like so freaking cute. Okay, anyways, now that we've gone through that, let's start doing the console table. I be so sick of you niggas, y'all contradicting I be so bold myself, can you come and fuck me? I feel so ordinary, seven, you won't round me Treat me like corduroy, wear me out Arguments, you air me out Tripping about your whereabouts I can't keep no conflict with you, boy, can we just rub it out? I don't want no savvy with you, you know you my I just put together the little console table that I got from Urban Outfitters Like I said, I got it I put the mirror down actually because I'm scared it's gonna fall. Tomorrow we're gonna put it up. We're gonna go to Home Depot and get the stuff that we need because the mirror did not come with like the screws to put it up. It fits perfectly into the space. I made sure that I got the perfect measurements for this little nook area because it's a very small area and I wanted something that fit perfectly. I'm not sure what this is called exactly, but it has this in it. And then I just put my Tom Ford book down here. This is in my room, but I just brought it down here in a candle because I want to start like decorating it, but I don't have anything to put on it yet. So just put the Tom Ford book and then we'll start accumulating, accumulating stuff to decorate it. But yes, I love it. It looks so freaking good. Today is March 6th and it's 8 a.m. I have a class at 9.30 a.m. Yes, I'm going to a class, you guys. I'm, I'm just taking out these pink curls. These pink curls look crazy. I put these in before yesterday. Yesterday, I literally did not leave my house. I was cleaning all day. This doesn't look bad, though. I really should start pink curling my hair. This one already came out. That's why this looks like this. I'm going to a class. It's like a beginner grounded Pilates class. Like, we're not going to be using the machine, I'm pretty sure. But basically, I signed up for classes through ClassPass. I heard about ClassPass through TikTok. So I signed up for it, and they give you like 
30 free credits when you sign up so i'm using those credits to like take classes they gave me 30 free credits and i think the class that i took is like five credits so i can still go to a ton of other classes with the free credits that they gave me but basically like how the app works is when you sign up you have access to like a bunch of classes um like you pay a monthly fee and then you have access to like a ton of fitness classes and i've been wanting to work out but i've been feeling a little like i guess you could say i've been having like gym anxiety like i don't know what i'm gonna do when i go to the gym i was like i don't know if i should get like a personal trainer like and then i was like wait i forgot it that i signed up for class class so i'm like let me just go and take a class and i feel like that's really gonna help with like not really knowing what to do and just starting somewhere basically i saw this trick on tiktok well not a trick but this girl who works out a lot she was basically saying this is how i maintain my silk this looks good i really need to start pin curling my hair omg look at like look at this body and like the curls like it doesn't look that good because some of them came out but like i see the vision so anyways she was saying that she puts her hair up basically in like buns like she puts her hair in four buns but i'm just gonna put it in two and basically it just helps because like the the sweat doesn't really like stain your hair like it comes out i'm assuming i think is what she said i watched that tiktok a while ago so i remember but i always remember that tip for like whenever i do end up working out one of the reasons sometimes also why i really don't want to work out is i don't want to mess up my hair it's such a stupid like hang up honestly but it's like the truth especially since like i'm on camera all the time like ugh, the thought of having to redo my hair is just so like ugh, no <laughs> so you guys i'm literally a ritia down to the floor like wearing this ritia set that i showed you guys from my last vlog and of course this ritia jacket that you guys saw done at this place how do i feel about it i honestly did not even break a sweat you guys so it was very basic like i thought basic level meant like beginner but it's like basic like super basic very easy i'm low-key happy because i didn't mess my hair up <laughs> but it's just not challenging so i'm going to i want to so i'm gonna um see if i can take another class at like the level up from this level camera sheets so yeah at the level up from this level because this level like i said is just not challenging at all just had a call with my accountant i recently got an accountant like a couple months ago and he's been helping me a lot with like doing my taxes and like all of that stuff because it's so stressful as an influencer i registered my business around a year ago and 
that when I registered my business after that came okay now you need to like file and like do your taxes and stuff and I always felt like it was such a I just didn't know what to do basically like I didn't know what to start I would watch videos but I still felt confused and I was like even if I do do it myself like how do I know that I'm doing it right like I don't want the freaking stairway coming from my ass like no I googled um an accountant in my area and I literally found this guy like it was just super easy and I just wish that I would have done it so much earlier like as an influencer because basically I'm an entrepreneur like all the money that I make is like goes into my business now because like I said I set up my business about a year ago and all of this was so all of this business stuff taxes entrepreneur stuff as you can imagine I was so clueless to everything because this is the first time that I've done something like this obviously um but yeah I'm getting familiarized with everything like he my accountant also helps me out with like you know what is a write-off basically and like some of the stuff that I get for hauls by example can be write-offs like some stuff is write-offs some stuff you can't write off he just helps me with all of that um so yeah I have my business bank account I also got a business credit card soon I still I don't know where I think they sent the card to my dad's house but they didn't receive anything so I also got some flowers I stopped to get some flowers I've been meaning to get some flowers because I like having flowers in my house. I like for my place to look good. I like for, you know, things to feel really nice in here. So I got like these tulips and then I was asking the lady like what, like, cause I'm trying to get into flower arrangements and whatnot. And I asked her what did she think would look good with the tulips. And she said the high, high rangeas, I believe is how you say it. She said these would look good. So I just got it. She's like, they're gonna last long too. So I'm like, okay. I don't know if those two flowers are going to look good together, but we'll see. Your body need a license fit. Your body are too tight to need. Anybody who got eyes can't see. She just want to dance and tease. She just want to dance and tease. She just want to dance and tease me. She just want to dance and tease me. She just want to dance and tease me. Hey guys, so today is March 9th. I'm currently on my way to an influencer event. This is the first ever influencer event that I've ever that I've ever that I've ever gone to or been invited to. I wasn't invited, a friend or a girl that I know from Instagram invited me, so I'm actually really excited. Um, she's about to come get me, but I just wanted to show you guys my outfit. So literally my whole outfit is PLT, top PLT, bottoms. By the way, I'm obsessed with these pants. I like these full leather pants. They're super stretchy. They fit me like amazingly. Chocolate brown color, obsessed. And then these heels are also PLT from like my last haul. And then this coat is from Zara. So, yeah, I'm excited. I'm also kind of nervous because like I'm definitely the more shy type so sometimes going to events and stuff is nerve-wracking for me because i'm just like shy and introverted and like yeah but it's okay like it's not that big of a deal i'm not that nervous so at least i'm going with someone like it's not it's not like me directly was invited i feel like that's a lot more pressure like it's like i'm going with someone else like i'm somebody else's plus one so it's not that much pressure you know so anyways I'm really excited to go, um, and I'll try to film like when I get there. So, oh, I'll try to film when I get there. So, yeah. okay, walking into the event with my girl. Ah, hi. <laughs> We're super excited. My feet are literally, literally hurt so bad right now, and I literally just started walking. <laughs> He say that I'm good enough, no I'm not good enough Think about shit that I shit enough So I tell him it's one of me, he make it fun of me His girl is a fun of me, like that boy is a cop Saying he home but I know where he at Like, then he blowing her back Think about me cause he know that it's fat Hey guys, so today is March 11th. The last time you guys saw me, I was at the event, which was before yesterday. I had honestly such a great time at the event. I'm so happy that I went because I was kind of nervous and I was like, you know, I'm shy, whatever, whatever. But I actually had a really good time. Like, I'm really, really happy that I went. But anyways, today I'm going to get my nails done again. Yes. I think it's been like three weeks, but my nails are old. You guys are probably like, girl, you get your lashes and nails done often but to be honest when i film these vlogs like i film one vlog and it's like over the span of like two weeks so you guys are probably like you get your nails out get done get you get uh, 
you get your nails done in every single vlog but it doesn't necessarily mean it's like every week or every two weeks it might be longer than that i think it's been like three weeks my nails look so bad i don't even want to show it to you guys it's like so dry and yeah so yeah going to get my nails in today i need to hurry up and get out this place because i'm about to be late so um i think i might also go to zara after that i just want to see what they have to offer something that I could wear like when going out like a more dressy type of vibe but honestly I really did not find anything and it was extremely packed today Saturday so I just like went in tried a couple of stuff on and then just left but I did get one thing so I want to show you guys what I got um I got this linen these linen pants basically I'll try it on for you guys but it's um a really nice like thick linen material like it's not a that like thin linen shirt material type of thing it's actually pretty thick and like it feels good quality i got this in a size small it's 49.99 and i just feel like it's cute for like you know spring summer vibe um also i am planning on going on vacation like two months or so so i'm just like slowly picking up things that i feel like will look good or you know just stuff that i would wear when i'm on vacation i feel like this is just like a super cute casual super casual item for vacay as well oh and let me show you guys right now let me give you guys up close because i'm so obsessed i basically told her to do like freestyle so like whatever she wanted i gave her complete creative control i just told her that i wanted my nails to be pink and i love i love how this turned out like wow let me give you guys a little bit of a close-up focus on the nails please okay you guys how do i show this <laughs> even the thumbs look so good like what so cute like i love it i love how every nail is different but anyways you guys this pretty much concludes the vlog for today thank you so much for watching until the end of the video if you like the video like the video of course leave a comment subscribe if you're new here of course and i'll see you guys in the next one Come through, come through.